care about. You cyberbully these kids, bro. Kids? You cyber kids. kids, bro. I don't like that. Which kids? I don't like cyber bullies, and you're a cyber bully. Uh, hi. I should be working on a different video right now about High School Musical, so look out for that. But I saw this Jake Paul confronting Cody Ko video yesterday, and I can't stop thinking about it. I guess it's just an extra video. If you haven't heard by now, Jake Paul made a video confronting Cody Ko as an internet bully. Oh, uh, and if you're not familiar with Jake Paul, he makes YouTube videos, and Cody Ko is just a regular commentary YouTuber. I, I guess we would be in the same genre on YouTube probably, uh, and I'm a fan of his stuff. I don't know either of these guys, and uh, I, I'm hesitant to even talk about this because I'm not trying to become a drama channel, but there are so many problems with the video, mostly stemming from the fact that Jake Paul doesn't seem to know what bullying is. <laughs> so if this video comes out dumb, I'll just delete it because I'm not trying to start shit. Anyway, Jake apparently has a problem with Cody because uh, he's made a few videos about him, but who hasn't? I mean, I think that's why he's making the video, uh, but I'm not sure because the premise is very convoluted. There's a douchebag named Cody Ko, and we are about to f his life up. <laughs> is that a good intro? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, mom. Nah, I'm just kidding. Kind of. Not really. Um, so is this a joke or is it not a joke? I'm confused and I've watched the whole video. I'm about to confront like one of my biggest haters, 28-year-old wannabe comedian Cody Ko. Based on Jake's tone, I assume this is meant to be an insult, calling Cody a wannabe comedian and mentioning that he's 28 years old as if that's some sort of really old age, which I've seen kids use uh, as an insult but Jake is 22, he's not even that much younger. The other way that Jake tries to cut Cody down in this intro is by saying that he was a little back-end tech developer. I saw this Cody Ko guy for the first time when he was working at Full Screen, which is like a YouTube community network as like a little uh, back-end tech developer. I have to say, as a 27-year-old former little back-end tech developer, I'm offended, uh, I'm quaking, and I'm weeping over my computer science degree. Cody went to Duke for computer science and Jake is acting like that's a bad thing. <laughs> it's almost like how a jock would, would make fun of a nerd, you know, in like a stereotypical TV high school. Unrelated, but now's a good time for me to mention that people who went to school with Jake Paul describe him as a bully. <laughs> I'm not saying it's true, uh, I'm just saying that it's very believable. And now he just shits on people to become famous. That's, that's, that's it. So this is the first big problem that I have with the entire premise of this video. Jake Paul thinks that Cody is just shitting on people to become famous. And like, I can see maybe how it looks like that if you like squint your eyes, you know, in a really far away. But to be honest, it's just a really elementary understanding of criticism and comedy. <laughs> I don't want to put words in Cody's mouth, but what it seems like he's doing is finding really popular but weird things that people are familiar with and then writing jokes about them. You know, like comedy. And yeah, it's comedy at someone else's expense, but usually it's someone with a bigger platform or at the very least, he's like talking about their actions and telling his audience not to like go bully them specifically. <laughs> Does his comedy sometimes have unintended circumstances? Yeah. Does he step over the line sometimes? Sure, but like, Everything I've seen from the guy is that he makes a, an earnest attempt to remedy those situations and learn from his mistakes. <laughs> it's clear to me that Cody is aware of his influence and tries to be responsible for it. An influence that Jake Paul seems to kind of deny the existence of. Like, this is the guy who had to have Shane Dawson explain to him how his advertising practices could be manipulative to children. So it's like, I've been doing that shit my whole life. So like for people trying to say like, I'm just doing it to manipulate and try to make money off of kids like shut the f up and uh he just calls it bullshit i'm not youtube's hero I'm oh we know i'm not here to like save the day and and like you know do, do do like all this stuff literally no one thinks of you as youtube's hero but that probably crossed your mind which is why why you're mentioning it and it really speaks to it just speaks to how disillusioned his perspective is with reality. Like you can just tell how how morally in the right he feels in this video. So then Jake calls Cody a bully. This guy, Cody Ko, is a bully. He's a cyber bully. Oh, and you know all that cyber bullying and negativity that's happening on the internet? Yeah, 
It's Cody Ko's fault, apparently, so problem solved. It's the worst thing in the world. People are hiding behind their computers, talking shit about other people. It's consumed our generation, it's consumed our society, and I think it's largely in part to do with these negative trolls online. So this is the reason I'm making the video. Jake is conflating criticism, which is largely what's happening to him, with bullying. Um, and uh, one, those are two completely different things. And two, I think it's a really harmful message. Bullying is uh, seeking to harm someone who is perceived as vulnerable. Thanks, Google. It could be shaming someone for the way that they look or uh, you know, pulling a bunch of pranks and practical jokes on them. But the most important ingredient is that they're vulnerable. The person that you're bullying has to be vulnerable for it to be considered bullying. And Jake Paul is not vulnerable. He has a lot of money and power and influence. And that means that making fun of Jake Paul is not the same thing as making fun of a random person on the street. <laughs> you could go to the extreme and say that it's impossible to bully Jake Paul, but uh, I wouldn't go that far because he's a human with feelings, but it's just much different. Like I sometimes get comments on uh, my video about five minute crafts mostly from children telling me that I'm a hater or a bully and I'm being so mean to someone who's just trying their best to make crafts. And if that were true, I would be a bully. But instead, it's a production company with tens if not hundreds of employees and the third most subscribed channel on YouTube. They can't be bullied. But this, this concept of a power dynamic seems to be completely lost in Jake's argument. Oh, and criticism, by the way, is the expression of disapproval of someone or something based on perceived faults or mistakes. Thanks, Google. You've done it again. In comedy, there's this concept of punching down, which is when the butt of the joke is someone with like less power or status. And that's bad and should be avoided. But as someone who watches Cody's videos, it's clear that he, he's never trying to punch down. Jake, on the other hand. Say Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Yeah, we got Perfect. it. You got it. I don't know. And maybe not support these types of people who are literally causing the youth to be like, negative and, and have like a lot of animosity in their souls. So this is a little holier than thou. If any negative criticism of Jake Paul is cyberbullying, then how could he ever be held accountable for anything? We actually have to criticize those in power. Otherwise that power goes unchecked and can be abused to hurt others. It kind of messes me up that he doesn't see that. But then again, this is a guy that made a diss track on the concept of teachers. What's the answer, Jake Paul? Why don't you tell us some shit that we're actually gonna use in our real lives? We should be holding Jake and Cody and all creators on this platform accountable for their actions, I except me. Come on, don't be a cyber bully. Like I said, I don't like making these videos and like to me it's kind of like, ah, oh, just fucking just like doing shit just to like talk shit about each other. I actually think Jake has a good point here. Uh, there's a bunch of random and unnecessary drama and talking shit. Like for example, um, several diss tracks promoting a false beef between two brothers. Little brother Jakey try to roast me. Or um, uh, again, several diss tracks uh, promoting, promoting a fight between some YouTubers, like totally unnecessary stuff. But that's different to me at least than making a video calling out Jake Paul for promoting those gambling mystery boxes to kids. Jake Paul's evidence of why Cody is bad is it's just really tame. Logan's, I watched that one. He's uh, dressed up as a minion. I don't know who the f made that call. Who signed off on that? Who was like, yeah, dude, for your first single ever for the it, video, you should definitely dress up as the thing that everybody in America hates most. I, 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 can't, I can't imagine like being a human and having this much hatred inside. I didn't edit that. He earnestly used a clip of Cody poking fun at Logan Paul's minion costume as an example of why he has hate in his heart. If someone was watching this video and it was about them and they didn't have tough skin, that could seriously affect them. I mean, this is what it's all about, isn't it? So Cody's doing this interview show with this guy named Jeff that has like surprises and gags and stuff in it. And the big surprise at the end is that Jake Paul is, is waiting to confront him. What's up, man? Are you serious? What's up, man? Are you trying to find me? But it's immediately clear that no one, including Jeff, expected Jake to come in so hot, so he asks him to do his intro again. Do that again, do that again, do that again. Sit down. No, do it again. 
Come in, but uh, come in what? Nicer? Come in nicer, dude. You don't. You're cyber bullies, kids, bro. Kids? You're cyber kids, bro. I don't like that. What kids, indeed? Because when Cody asks for the names of the people that Jake Paul is talking about, he says he doesn't want to give that information. So like, what are they supposed to discuss? <laughs> There's kids out there. Like I, I've met girls who you've like. Into like gone in on and like I don't I don't with it. I don't I don't need to I don't need to bring up their names to cause drama for them. Cody clearly wanted to remedy the situation. I don't like cyber bullies and you're a cyber bully. This is just so weird. I'd also like to point out the hypocrisy of calling someone a bully uh, while you surround him in a room with cameras uh, and people meant to intimidate him. And then Cody kind of sarcastically apologizes. I'm sorry. Hey man, you said sorry. That's good. Yeah. I'm sorry for bullying you. And then everything's fine and they just talk about how funny Cody is. <laughs> I watch his videos and they're they're good. They're funny. Yeah, you, you have, uh, you're, you're hilarious, bro. Like, you're hilarious. That's not what anyone's debating. But in the aftermath of the confrontation, it's clear that we've made no progress. He can be a little bit more thoughtful and I can be maybe a little bit more understanding at, yeah. to, like, comedians. He was just kind of deflecting the whole time. Yeah. Uh, he really wasn't deflecting at all. Jake just kept saying the same thing over and over without giving any more information, so uh, it's kind of hard to dig deep. I really hope this is some big joke, but Jake Paul's tweets after the fact, like, do not help. This generation we live in is dis questing with a Q. From the beauty community drama this week to people taking a serious message about cyberbullying and turning it into a joke because Jake Paul said it. Where's the good? Where's the fun? Where's the love? Too many negative souls. Um. We're not making fun of this good message because Jake Paul said it. We're making fun of it because it was a really bad argument. Uh, like, I, I don't deny that the message came from a good place. It's just that, like, the example that he gave was not a good one. I can empathize with the fact that it's hard to suddenly come into an audience and have every one of your actions criticized. But uh, it kind of comes with the territory, and, and Jake Paul like leans into that attention, for sure. I mean, he's been at this for years, so he has to know that you just kind of have to roll with the punches and not try to tear down or cancel anybody who criticizes you. That's all I wanted to say about that. Um, I, I hope it's not completely out of pocket for me to talk about this, this drama that isn't mine. Uh, but I tweeted about this yesterday, and... I got included in the Twitter moment, and so a ton of people uh, who were Jake Paul's fans saw my tweet, and so I just got like all these responses from his fans, and I just like couldn't get over how, you know, completely missing the point uh, so many people were. All right, I gotta get back to work on this High School Musical video. See ya. Bullying, knock it off. Racism, knock it off. Bigotry, knock it off. Crime, knock it off. Robin Banks, knock it off. Not saying thanks, knock it off.